What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So really excited for today's video. We are gonna be reviewing four of my mocks and then we're gonna go smash them because now I've redone the Lego room. I don't have display space for them and I really need the parts back. So I am thinking about releasing instructions for two of the New York City inspired builds. So let me know down in the comments which ones you guys would like to see, but let's get into it. So first up is one of my favorite builds of the four. This is my New York City inspired apartment building. It is complete with a gym, a sushi restaurant, and of course, a Star Wars rooftop party. Now looking at the ground floor, you can see the storefronts are pretty monochromatic. You've got the dark green in the sushi and the black in the gym. For the gym, I've tried to add some detail here using a couple different elements like bars, jumper plates, panels, little things here and there that just kind of help make it pop. One of the things I really like about the build too are the custom printed signs that I have. And then another favorite detail of mine is when I used hammers for the door handles. So I think overall it turned out really nicely. Now the second, third, and fourth floors are all pretty much the same. They feature the same facade with the dark orange masonry bricks and the white fluted two by two bricks. They also have a little bit of contrast with the black fire escape, which for me is iconic to New York City buildings. So I had to include that. And then of course had to include Spider-Man too. But without a doubt, the best part of the build, the major highlight is the Star Wars rooftop party. You can see I've got a little Stormtrooper bar, I've got the little Chase lounges, I've even got a hot tub, and actually this was a build that Tiago did a tutorial on a couple of years back, so if you wanna build it, check the link below. Uh, my favorite part though is DJ C-3PO with the turntables and the little headphones around his ears. Just super cool, this was really fun, and I am gonna miss this part of the build, but I'm really excited to get some of these parts back. So let's move to our next build. This is another New York City inspired building. This is my Brooklyn Brownstone. Now this was a really fun build at the time because when I was working on it, I was working on this little garden area and the steps in the front and the reddish brown masonry bricks had just come out. So it was really fun to work with that new part. And then you can see I've also added a little detailing on the railing just using the whip and the lightsaber hilt. And this is actually what I did on my other railing on the grand staircase in my city. Really fun technique to use. Another cool aspect of the build is this bay window. So again, at the same time that I was building this, these new reddish brown kind of curved slopes came out and it ended up just working out perfectly using the curved windows and everything fit into a really nice circular pattern. It's built with a snot technique, but I think overall it turned out really nicely. Now I did continue to do the detailing up the sides. You can see I didn't go back and finish the exterior walls, but I did add little window AC units and then the flowers and the little potted plants. So overall it gives a little pop of color, a little bit of detail, but one of my other favorite aspects of this build is the roof. So I added two of my favorite New York City based Marvel characters. So I have Daredevil and the Punisher, and then I've added a water tower on the roof because for me, that's such an iconic element of New York City buildings that I just had to include it. It was really, really fun. Um, this is a build I'm probably gonna miss because I thought it'd be really cool at one point to do a whole like row of brownstones, but obviously with the direction the city's headed, not gonna work. All right, so now moving on to the wine bar mock, let's run through some of the highlights. This is a really cool build with some fun details. I'm sad to see go. My first thing that I really like about this build was the blade sign. You can see all the different little detail pieces I added just to make it pop and kind of stand out. I'll probably end up taking this off the build before I destroy it so I can use it again in the future. Uh, a couple other elements. I really like the printed sign. I think the gold turned out really nicely and just fits really well with the overall build. And then that little bit of black detailing underneath the window was also a nice addition. Kind of continuing with that same black theme, I have the black sort of like cage piece used as a balcony railing. And I actually really like this. I'll probably use this in a future build. I didn't know what I was gonna do with this piece when I ordered it off Bricklink a long time ago. And this actually worked out pretty nicely. And so the last two details of the build that I wanna talk about, the first is this repeating pattern up the side of the build with these dark bluish gray quarter tiles. I think it looks really nicely with a dark plan dark tan plate underneath it. And then also the sand green little ski poles, I think turned out really nicely. And it just adds a nice little like common thread throughout with all that sand green. And that takes us to the last piece, which is the roof. Now my vision for the roof was to be something more like the Parisian restaurants roof. And this obviously didn't, didn't take final form. Uh, I am excited to get back all the sand green parts, but I do wish I pushed forward on this one and finished out the roof and did some other details, but it is what it is and we need the parts. So let's take a look at our last build. I know you're waiting for the good part, which is when we smash everything. This build won't take long because there's not much to say about it. So this is my jewelry mock. You can see the top two floors are turquoise and they do not match the bottom floor because they were built totally independent of the ground floor. Um, the ground floor has got some fun detailing, added nice little like light bluish gray uh, details underneath the storefront window. And then you can see this little like green kind of horn piece. It looks nice. 
Um, but overall, the build just felt kind of disjointed, never really worked out. One of the key highlights I thought it was kind of cute to do is on the rooftop, I have a guy proposing and I put a bunch of flowers around it and then a little band as well. So it's a fun, cute little build, but again, gotta go. It doesn't fit with the city. So, all right, now the part you've been waiting for, let's go smash some builds.